We just got through California's Freedom Week and nearly 5 million magazines have been purchased and are on their way. So stick around, we're going to tell you some more about it. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ant Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and it's been an exciting week. It's been a whirlwind of activity uh, with what's become known as Freedom Week. Uh, for nearly a week, Californians had a chance to stock up on standard capacity magazines, and most of them are on their way. We want to take a couple minutes to address the last video we did because the whole tone of the video was urging caution. Uh, a lot of people went out right out and bought things, and that's great. Um, we had a feeling that Judge Benita's uh, stay wasn't going to be the final word, and we were correct. We put up a lot of the various replies, the orders, the, all the legal documents that led up to the final uh, conclusion, and uh, as a result, we took a little bit of flack for urging caution. Uh, our number one reason is we didn't want to see anybody go to jail because we didn't know up until two days before that you know California was not going to criminalize all the new buyers. That being said, if you went out and bought, you're good to go. All you have to do is wait by the front door and wait for your new magazines to show up. But since that time, we've had a chance to talk with legal and get a little bit of a better interpretation of what we really can and can't do. So once again, we want to urge caution, but at the same time, we want you guys to go out and enjoy the Second Amendment because it's yours. So I've got some frequently asked questions that we're going to be working from. I've got my clipboard because I don't want to miss any and I don't want to screw this up. You know, the first question we've got a lot of is, can I still purchase magazines capable of holding more than 10 rounds in California? And the answer is no. As of 5 p.m. Friday, April 5, California restrictions prohibit the manufacture, importation, sale, or transfer, or receipt of large capacity magazines, so it's once again in effect. We got to stay, we got a week off, but the law's back on. So don't bother trying to buy stuff now, you'll just get yourself in trouble. Now, uh, question number two, can I continue to possess the magazines I lawfully acquired? Yes, you are protected. The magazines that you own are now covered and protected. Uh, number three, can I use the magazines I lawfully acquired at a shooting range? The answer is yes. No law against the possession of holding more than 10 rounds and the use of a magazine at a shooting range is specifically prohibited. Now, there's, a, there's an add to that, and there's something you need to be aware of. If, for example, you have a, an AR-15 that is set up with a fixed magazine as a way of not having to register your assault rifle, with a fixed magazine rifle, you cannot add a, a high-capacity magazine of more than 10 rounds. If you do, it puts it into the qualification of an assault rifle. So if you have a featureless, you're good to go with a high-cap magazine. But if you have a, uh, a fixed magazine, it's a no-go. If you guys saved your parts going back and forth between fixed magazine and uh, featureless, you may want to consider going back to featureless. Question number four, can I carry the magazine I lawfully acquired with a firearm pursuant to a CCW? And the answer is yes, and that's according to state law. But individuals should therefore check with their local policies, your county, the city that issued it, to make sure that whoever issued you your CCW doesn't have a policy that requires you to carry 10 rounds or less. So the state said yes but check with your issuing authority to make sure you're still kosher. Okay, question number five. I lawfully purchased magazines during Freedom Week, but they've yet to arrive in the mail. Am I still okay to receive them? The answer is yes. The order granted a stay to anyone who, quote, imported, sold, or bought, unquote, magazines capable of holding more than 10 rounds during Freedom Week. So you cannot be prosecuted assuming the individual bought the magazine but is yet to receive them. We got a lot of uh, people telling us, you know, once they got final word two days before the stay ended, there was a big rush because now that people knew they had the right to go out and buy magazines, they did. So a lot of gun stores 
did orders that allowed people to prepay. So these orders that took place at the very last minute, they're covered. Question number six, I have large capacity magazines that are currently out of state. Can I bring them back into California? And the answer to that is no. That would follow under the prohibition of importing. So if they're out of state, you have to leave them there. You bring them back, you'll be in violation of the law. The last one, number seven, can I travel with magazines I lawfully acquired outside of California? And once again, the answer is no. If you take them out of state and try to bring them back, once again, you're violating that issue having to do with the importation of high cap magazines. So there's some do's, there's some don'ts, but it's more good news than bad news. But we have to keep the fight up. So keep supporting the NRA, keep supporting the California Rifle Pistol Association, and we're gonna put up the links to them down below. You know, it's, it's going to the higher courts and we're getting good traction on this. So keep up the good fight. Don't back off now. We have to fight every gun law that they're trying to push on us so that none of them stick. It's going to require a maximum effort and that's up to you. If you're not a member of the NRA, you should really consider becoming one because they're your biggest voice in politics to try to protect your Second Amendment rights. Anyway, we'd like to thank some of our subscribers for their comments on the last video. Uh, people like Lou Flores and Mike Matul, we appreciate your responses that were really well thought out. And we'd like to thank all of our subscribers for giving us a good traction and helping to keep us all pushing forward. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, also hit the like and the share. If you wanna check us out on any of our social media, that's gonna be down in the lower third. Once again, for firearms education and training and shooters a series, thanks for watching, and y'all take care.